Welcome to The Good with Dr. Joe. And this is Dr. Joe with this big smile on his face right here to my right. How you doing, Dr. Joe? Miss I'm very good. How about you? I'm good. It's good to see you. Welcome to our podcast. It's 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. And what's happening in London, Miss Now? I think probably traffic jam with everybody getting off from work. Whoa, that is that means rush hour, mm-hmm. 5 p.m. All right, so welcome right back again to our podcast. Um, today we're going to be talking about the Memorial Weekend. Memorial Weekend is here, talking a little bit about PPP and EIDL. And Miss Snow here is always excited about the PPP and the EIDL, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, um, we can you can join us or you can catch us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Google, and a lot of other social Google. platforms. Yes, we're on Google. Yeah, mm-hmm. really, absolutely. I didn't yeah. know that. If you Google, you see us there. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, what do you do? Google the good with Dr. Joe. Yes. Uh, well, no, no, yeah, yeah. You just go there and put them and go with Dr. Joe, and then we'll be right there. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Then you're probably on Duck Duck Go. Duck Duck Go. Mm-hmm. Okay, if you say so. All right. So uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. So Miss No, Memorial Day is a, a day that it's um, very very significant in America. Yes, it is. So what do you have to tell us about Memorial Day? Memorial Day is the day we honor the military, the dead who died in the military service, Mm. Mm. all the veterans, and um, it's a very somber day. Mm. A lot of people go to the cemeteries. We have a lot of shows. I like uh, PBS on Sunday night will have a big, big show Mm. where they do out of Washington, Mm D.C. So a little background, which I know everybody's probably very interested in. Okay. In 1971, Memorial Day was declared a national holiday by an act of Congress and placed on the last Monday of May. It is a day to honor the men and women who gave their life for our freedom while serving in the U.S. military. And um, also what I found interesting out of the Internet says that usually, unofficially, it marks the beginning of summer. You know, I was going to say that. It marked... I was going to say that. When I was a child Mm -hmm. growing up, when people used to dress up, you never wore white before Memorial Day. I see. Mm -hmm. At the end of May, come Mm -hmm. the 1st of June, it was okay to wear white. Wow. That Mm -hmm. was when people used to really dress. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because I was watching the news and um, the airport airport people, was it the uh, people who checked security Security at the airport? airport? Yeah, TSA. Mm -hmm. So TSA is saying that this weekend, it's going to be one of the busiest weekends they've had in over a year. Of course, you oh, know, the yeah. pandemic started, you know, and then this is the first time that it looks as if we are going back a little bit to normal, mm-hmm. say. Mm-hmm. And, and, they, and they kept advising people, put your guns at home, put your weapons at home, because they, mm-hmm. they t- how many people they have to see? Because they're not used to it. Mm-hmm. People haven't traveled in a long time. Maybe they have your... If you're packing, well, they know you can't carry a gun. A lot of people don't remember it's, it's a problem. You know, maybe they went on a hunting trip and they have their gun in their backpack or in their, and then they just take off to the airport and then before you know it, they still arrest. They still do arrest at mm-hmm. the airport. So please check your bag. And by the way, you can check your baggages in. You can check your weapons in. Uh, of course, you got to separate. You can. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can check it in. Yeah. You I can't just, that. You can't mm-hmm. just take it through the... But like if I had it in my uh, luggage? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's okay to go? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. you have to take the bullets out, though. You gotta, you can't oh, it's got to be empty. Yeah, it yeah, can be empty, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Well, since I'm not a carrier, then I don't pack. That's what this <laughs> I'm not a packing broad. Miss, are you sure about that? <laughs> are you sure? You yeah, no, I don't. Okay. I don't have anywhere to hide it. <laughs> I know men put it in the back of their pants. If I put it in the back of my pants, I'd probably shoot my butt off. <laughs> <laughs> and there's hardly enough left to deal with. So we will move on to Arlington Cemetery, which is going to be fascinating. And Arlington fascinating, it is fascinating. Yeah. Have you ever been to Arlington Cemetery? No, I've seen it on, on YouTube though. It is one of mm. the most emotionally mm. moving places I have ever been to. Mm. And I watched the changing of the guard mm. 
which is really fantastic. That's in Virginia, right? <laughs> well, yeah, Washington, yes. D.C., yeah, right at the, uh, in okay. Virginia. Okay. And um, this has, you want to know how many is buried there? Right. I'm sure that's going to be fascinating to right. you. There's over 400,000 people buried mm. there. Just think about that. Over 400,000 mm. people. Wow. And the first grave mm -hmm. was, uh, the first person was buried there, which we call the first grave, mm. was in May of 1864. Wow. That's World War One. So since it, May of 1864, mm -hmm. there's there 400,000 people buried there now. It's three 639 acres. Mm -hmm. That's a big place. A lot, a lot of land. Well, now, here's what interested me. Take mm -hmm. a guess who owns it. The U.S. government? That's what everybody thinks. Mm -hmm. But the Department of Army owns it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's, and, it's, it's the same government owns mm -hmm. Army. So. Mm -hmm. Well, no, the Army controls mm -hmm. it. Department yeah. of Army. Yeah, the Army owns it, but the Army is owned by the government. So the government technically is the owns it. I guess. Yeah. They average 25 mm -hmm. burials a day. 25 burials a day? Even that's up a, to now? Yeah, that's, wow. that's supposed to be mm -hmm. a current figure. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. a lot of people. Yes, yeah. it is. And, and, you know, that's where Kennedy's buried. Mm -hmm. And at his grave, they've got the... Um, Internal life? No, well, I think the, well, the, the reality that this brings uh, to me, a lot of times people talk about death and stuff like that. People are very superstitious and so on and so forth. But really, this is something that's going to happen to all of us someday. You know? Yeah, but, you know, we're we're celebrating people who really, really died in defense of our country. Yes, yes. We're, of course, en we're enjoying our freedom at the mm -hmm. expense of yep. someone's life. Of course, of course. And, of course, you know, a lot of people fly to France mm -hmm. for the... Memorial Day yeah, and no. go to um, Omaha Beach, yeah. where there was so many English and Americans, thousands and thousands of people yeah. lost there on Omaha Beach. So, so uh, I think Memorial Day is one of our so what, when better, you see, better, 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 better so holidays. When you see a military family, uh, you see uh, uh, somebody in uniform, you know, say hello, you know, um, what, what's the best thing to do when you see somebody in uniform? In this, like this weekend, for example, give them a rose, give them a flower, give them some cookies, cake. Well, it would be uh, mm -hmm. nice to give them a... Hello? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, naturally, hello, but people really? are doing that all the time now. Mm -hmm. You know, like they'll walk up to somebody in the airport and mm -hmm. say, thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. You know, thank you. I, I would not say thank you for your service. I say thank you for risking your life for my freedom. Okay. And that's what they're doing. Well, it's the same thing, you know. It's the same. Yeah. Thank you for your service. Yeah. But they, they, they serve to risk their life, and they risk their life to serve, you know? So mm -hmm. it, it works, but to make it a little more sure of what people do, what people already used to, you could say, oh, thank you for your service, you know? But it's, um, it's, it's a great thing to be able to uh, serve, but it's, it's, it's a, a scary thing. It's a whole lot of sacrifice to actually have to die. I know when I was looking up this information right now, I thought, God, I don't believe I could do that. Mm. You know? What would you think to know you're going into battle, mm. and it's a 50-50 chance you're going to come out of it? Yeah, I watch uh, I watch a skit on uh, Saturday Night Live, and um, they they they, they said the general was so good that he could tell those who are going to come back and those who are not going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, people, you know, I say kind of people get premonitions. <laughs> So, so he was telling all of those, so you, you're not going to come back. You, you're going to be dead. You, you're come back. You, your two legs are going to be gone. You know, so, but they, they were so demoralized, you know. So please, if you're a general, don't tell your, don't tell your troops that. Okay? If you, know. you know, I've been, uh, PBS has been running a show mm -hmm. yeah. um, every week called uh, Crossing the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. And it's about the start of the Second World War. Mm -hmm. It's just a, a TV show, mm -hmm. you know. But they based it on true events mm. that happened. Mm. And uh, the war had not started in the United States yet. And mm. England was sending little children mm. to the United States for safety because mm. they had started bombing England. Mm. And there was 90, 93 children mm. on this boat. Mm. And the Germans bombed uh, U-boat us. Submarine mm. blew it out of the water, and three children survived. They lost ninety children with it. That on that one mm. boat, isn't that fat? 
Unbelievable. Now that's a fact. So uh, I'm not sure what the Germans were really after. You know, they, they created a lot of problems, you know, during the... Uh, Power. Wow. Power so, hungry. Yeah. We, we just hope we don't have to deal with that kind of crazy and that madness again. You know, oh, you got China. it going on right now. Where? <laughs> China. Oh, China. Okay. Yeah, man. You you hear a lot of things about China. Mm. So, well, I think one of the one of the things though is that we are even actually empowering China right now and indirectly supporting China by sending all our goods sure. there. So, I mean, that's something that, you know, we have to think about, you know, especially uh, the greed. I think it's the greed in us. You know, I, I can't imagine carrying a factory from America and taking it to, to China. They do. You know, I don't understand that, you know. I think it was um, your, your friend, uh, Donald Trump, one time he was uh, marketing his tie. So, and they, it was David Letterman. It was made in China. <laughs> yeah, it's like this pen. I'm sure this pen was made in China. So, so it, it's really bad. That's a culture that we have to change as Americans, you know. Well, that's what uh, Donald Trump was trying to do. Well, he needs to first bring his ties here. Make your ties here. Well, first, he was trying to bring he was trying to bring factory and industry back into the United yeah, States. Yeah, that's that we don't want him to try. We want him to do it. Just do it, because this pandemic, if it has shown us anything, it shows it's shown that if you give continue to give power to China, they, they will take it. They 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 are going to have no problem taking it. Mm -hmm. So this is the time for the past that be to reconsider bring it back the factories here. You know, let's begin to make our stuff here. Yeah, we heard about the uh, the computer, the computer that they need to complete the vehicles. You yeah. know, I mean vehicles, you know, most cars. The chip now, cars. Yeah, now have com this computer chip. Oh yeah. They say it came from China and because right. of the fact that the uh, pandemic broke out and they couldn't manufacture it. And now there's a backlog you know, a lot of a lot of um, inventory is, is low. And why don't they make that here? That's what I don't understand. I mean, we got all kinds of tech people. Yes. Yeah. And, and not only that, you never know what they might put in that chip. Yeah. They tell me, and I've heard this. Don't know if it's yeah. true because you hear so much anymore. You don't know yeah. what's true and what isn't. Yeah. That with the computer chips in the car, yeah. I can be driving down the road and they can stop me. They can. Kill my engine with that. Re remotely, chip. yeah, remotely. I mean, it's yeah. possible. It's possible. Whether, whether they are doing it or not, I don't know, but this is possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see what happened to the uh, uh, the gas company. Oh, yeah, with the, uh, with the, mm -hmm. the ra ransomware. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. that, that's a computer. That's remote. That's, yeah. That was remotely done. And they, they got a lot of. Uh, but they, they don't got, know who did it, do they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say somewhere in China, in the Chinese people. There you go. You somewhere in China. Yeah. Is it China or Russia? Russia. Russia, okay. So there between, you go. between Russia, you go. between Russia and China, mm -hmm. you know, so they they're the one doing it, you know. So, but the the thing though is that we we have to deliberately begin to bring our industries, our factories back here, so that we can have the control of our future. I think you should write a letter to Biden and mm -hmm. Pelosi. Okay. Did you see what she's wanting to do with the? Uh, uh, drugs with our pharmaceuticals. No, she's wanting to send, wanting them made in China. No, no, that, no, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. See, okay, they are complaining that this chip in the vaccine. Okay, so that that's a lot. There's a lot of uh, theories, you know, is going on. You know, complete conspiracy theories going on. That so there's, what? A, there's a chip. Yeah. In your in the vaccines, this. Uh, Oh, that uh, when you're vaccinated, you get a little chip. You get a little chip, yeah. And what does it do to you? Yeah. Well, so they can control you, you know, so they can control, you know. So it's, it's some kind of theory is going on right there. And, and there's an argument for and against and all of that. But the, the question I'm asking that, as Americans, what are we doing about even the other bigger stuff that comes from China, mm -hmm. you know, that they could hide anything inside? So if you're afraid of the vaccine, They could hear us right stuff? now through this little bit. The yeah, they have, yeah, they have microphones, they have um, computer, and then the other time they said that your your TV at home. Oh, yeah, you, know, you, you got that voice it. activation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They say that they can, when, you got, you, when you're when you using that, mm -hmm. they can hear everything that's said mm -hmm. in the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even even the camera, you know, they can actually also see you. There's a way they can mm -hmm. manipulate the computer. That's why the I don't TV. have it. 
and then they can they can watch you, they can see you, mm -hmm. and uh, who knows, maybe from your from your uh, phone also, they can also do that, you know. So, but well, I mean, if we are talking about Memorial Day today, we are talking about a group of brave soldiers, men and women, men and women, who risked their life, who dedicated their lives to serve it in the country, serve in America to protect our economic integrity. It's not just our, our boundary alone, but our economic integrity. Right. But now we are sending all our factories overseas. So what's the point? How are we saying thank you to all these people who died so that we as a nation can try? I know. Yeah, so I think I think we, we, have, we have to start talking to our, uh, our you gotta lawmakers. Be, well, you gotta be careful who you elect. Yeah. That's yeah. the first thing is, yeah. and, uh, like uh, with the taxes and some of the things they're coming up with, like, um, you know, when you put a lot of uh, control yeah. on business, mm -hmm. they're going to leave. Yeah. Where they've got more freedom mm -hmm. to do what they need to do. So. And that's what China is doing. China is sucking them in with no taxes, no regulations, and then dirt cheap labor. You know, so. You, and you, very you, few regulations. Very few regulations. You know, no regulations, and then no taxes, and then you're, you're paying pennies on the dollar for labor versus what you get here. So we have to come up with incentives or have to get people to put their factories here. Yeah. All right, now I know you're just dying to go into your PPP. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, so this PPP actually ends for those who are, who are left. I think most banks actually already closed now. Oh, yeah, the May 31st, wasn't it, on a lot of them? Yeah, May 31st, only for community banks. Only community banks are taking right now. So if there's anyone say taking out there, you know, so you can go ahead and apply. Now, there are a lot of people who apply and they're waiting. Yeah, that's because there's been a little bit of backlog, you know, towards this end, there's been a little bit of backlog. Because there are people, here's the truth. There are people who didn't file for the first round of PPP, and they didn't file for the second round of PPP. So now they are filing for both because they qualified. Initially, they didn't qualify for anything during the first round. So now when they adjusted that adjustment, uh, when they uh, extended the uh, numbers on your Schedule C from line 31 to line seven, a lot of people qualified. So people are filing for both the first round and the second round now so because of that there's a lot of backlog and people. remember on june 26 that extra 300 000, that hundred three hundred dollars coming into your unemployment is going to end yes for, for, especially georgia georgia yeah. is ending that yeah so yeah. if you can't live on the regular unemployment or you lose your qualification you better be looking for a job yeah yeah i think well with the companies opening back the country is opening back so i guess uh, a lot of people start you know trying to go get back well you see job on. you know they see hiring mm -hmm. there's a big billboard out there on um on 331 mm -hmm. that says we're hiring call us so did they tell, you what, billboard. Kind of, did they tell you what kind of jobs you know I, what kind well, of jobs okay i just saw it when i was driving i well, was lucky to read that much. yeah <laughs> well, I know they're handling a lot. And therefore, on the EIDS side, which is the uh, Economic Injury Disaster Loan, they see some grants going on, uh, and they saw there's uh, um, the extension, you know, they extended the cap, you know, the loans, whatever amount you can get, it used to be 150, so it's now up to $500,000. So, so check, see what you qualified for. And then also for gig, you talked about the gig workers last time. Oh, yeah, yeah, the gigs. Yeah, yes, yes, you know. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, so there are also a little bit of provision. To, so the SBA, which is a small business administration, mm -hmm. they also have uh, 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 some programs for for gig workers and also for uh, businesses, that uh, seasonal businesses, to also take advantage of the program. On that gig workers, does that apply to anything other than musicians? No, no, yeah, it'd be, any, anything that has to do with... My like construction workers who only work, you know, at certain times. Well, construction will fall under construction, will fall okay. under regular industry. So gig would be mainly, I think, mainly entertainment. Anything that has to do with entertainment, that yeah. has to do with sports also. Oh, because, yeah. Because, you know, with sports, people set up things like uh, food. Yeah, and they've been, uh, like the ball games were yeah. delayed and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely. 
So well, have you heard that, talking about delay? Mm -hmm. uh, is the um, Summer Olympics going to go off in Japan, or have they canceled? Well, so far, so far, you know, they, it's going on as planned. Mm -hmm. You know, so what they are tweaking, they are tweaking uh, security measures. They are, uh, they are tweaking protocols for um, checking COVID and all that. So initially, they said they were going to have a passport, COVID passport. So I don't know how they're going to enforce that, you know, because I, people can make make up anything, you know. So I just yeah. had heard on the news mm -hmm. that the citizens of Japan mm -hmm. wanted it canceled. Yes, they did. But I didn't. Then that's all I've heard. So yes, I don't know anything. They want to cancel this. They they think that that's going to be a super spreader event. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's and that's a that's a a. a a concern that I think mm -hmm. is is legitimate. That's a legitimate concern. Oh yeah, point to I raise. think it is as well. But and I wonder about the athletes. How many countries are going to send athletes to it? I wonder. Especially for countries like uh, that are still dealing with 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 the with the outbreak. I know India. Oh, India is there terrible. having some issues. Yeah. And uh, I think um, Brazil has. Brazil has been issue. in bad shape too. Yeah. yeah. So and a couple. Of, I'm not sure what's going on in Africa right now. I don't know how Africa is holding up. So far, some especially. countries have been hard, very hard hit. I yeah. heard, yeah, but I don't know what they are. Anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. So while well, the thing is to keep safe, do the best that you can. You know, I'm, for me, uh, I know people people talk a lot about whether or not to wear the, the mask. Yeah, I've, I'm I'm continuing to wear my mask. I'm going to keep masks for now, because just like I said last time, it's helping with with the regular cold, mm -hmm. regular flu season. Last year was you know. Almost non-existent. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Because of the mask. Yeah, because of the mask. So I'm going to keep the mask. When yeah. I go into a store, yeah. I wear a mask. Yes, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's, it's, it's about time for us to go. So you can you can catch us on uh, Google. We are on YouTube. Just Google The Good with Dr. Joe. Okay, a call's coming through. I'm sorry, we're not taking any calls today. I'm sorry. All right, so we you can catch us on Google. We are on Spotify. Instagram. We are on Instagram. We're always on Instagram YouTube. live every uh, Wednesday at 12 noon. We are on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Can I add Spotify. something real yeah. quick? Go ahead. May I add something? Because mm -hmm. this is kind of important. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this. A moment of remembrance mm -hmm. takes place at 3 p.m. local time all over the United States. Each year on Memorial Day, a national moment of remembrance. So that's 3 p.m. At 3 o'clock. Uh, on Monday, right? 3 o'clock, yes, on Monday at your local time. Local time, 3 o'clock. Let's uh, give them a share. Thank you so much for joining. We thank all our supporters, all our listeners. Thank you for joining. So check out our YouTube page. Hasta la vista. A last word? Next week, 12 o'clock noon. See you then. I hope. Bye-bye. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day to everybody and thank you to all our service people. Oh, yeah, those, drive safe. Lives. Drive safe, wear your mask. Yeah, wherever you're going, wear a mask and Bring be a flag. safe. And keep, uh, keep on an egg. Flag. The flag, yeah. The flag's going to be off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, white, the flag. Red, yeah. white, and blue. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, red, white, and blue. Thank One you so much. One of the ladies in our audience was, was kind enough to remind us of that. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank you. <laughs> all right, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.